number 10. And this one already has no programming cable in it as well. Because in number nine, when I was looking for a programming cable, I checked this box and it wasn't in there. So I know this one doesn't have one either. Howdy everybody, Steve here, KM9G. Let's repair a radio. We have radio, the most important part. We have no power cord. I've got one for you. I got you covered. We have hardware and mounting bracket. All right, let's get a power cord, because if I don't get it now, I will forget to get it later. This is the power cord from my RT95, but I've got plenty of other power cords because this is a hobby of acquisition. You must acquire more radios and you can acquire this one. So send me an email temporarily offline at gmail.com and it could be yours. There'll be a discount because there's no programming cable because I don't have one of those to get you. And if I buy one, then I just have to price it higher and you know, you could have just got it yourself. So I'll save you some money that way. In addition to this being refurbed and not brand new and all kinds of other jazz. Quick update, these are sold out, but I have more. Send me an email if you want any one of these abandoned, orphaned, unloved radios, and I will get you a list of what they are, and tell me how many you want, and I'll get you a shipping quote. We'll get it all sent out to you. I always got something for sale. Back to the repair. Coax, coax, coax. Microphone, power. All right, we are on. Ooh. Pretty sound. We still have the screen protector on this one as well. This one says 440. Did they get as far as 44 and give up? So let's see. 146520. Okay, so now if I type in 446 to go to two meter call, 446. That's exactly what happened. All right. You guys know what to do here, but I will show you again. Turn it off. I will show you at the speed of the radio because somebody said I was going too fast. Push down the top. Three buttons, power, P4, and function, and turn it on. And then you get this menu. Go to option 43. PTT on the radio. Change that to option 2. And then reboot. Like, literally, the radio won't let me go any slower. Now it pops up. It comes on. It beeps. We do 446. Zero, zero, zero. Ta-da! The radio is now in the proper region. Let's start at the beginning. One, four, six, five, two, zero. And let's do the PC button to switch it to low power. And let's test. 339. Three and a third. Let's switch it to middle. 12. Well, 11 and a half. Let's switch it to high. 21 and two thirds. Okay, let's do four, four, six. And let's do low power, 3.67, so three and two thirds. And then 13, and then 20.8, nice. And my other radio back here was picking up all of those signals, so transmit works at all six power levels, all two bands. So now what do we do? Testing 446, we have no volume. Testing 446, there we go. Going to the function menu. We'll need that later. All right, I can already hear the beeps coming out of the handle. Testing, ooh, testing, testing. Yep, that works. All right, so let's do 146. Testing receive, whoops, I'm on the wrong, I'm on the wrong frequency on the other radio. So let's do menu, channel, return, return. Testing, yep, it's working. This is KM9G. Okay, so all of that works. It's programming time. Launch the software, read the radio, press the okay button, come back when the thing is finished. Read data completed, radio rebooted. This radio is blank. We'll fix that. So you guys thought I was only going to do the two calling frequencies. Nope. Let's switch it into memory mode, V-call. 
and it's still in the, this is a weird thing this radio does and I get it. So I switched it and now the up and down button controls the button that I pushed and I have to switch it out. Or I can use the knob to do the thing and it's, it's awkward, but you know, you get used to it. So that's in VFO mode and the up and down button is working. That's in memory mode. There's that APRS channel. See, I gotcha. That works. And the lock works. Yep, the lock works. Let's switch you back to regular mode because I don't remember if I did this or not. Perfect. All right, we got her all fixed up. We got her all figured out. This one, this one had a clue. Somebody tried to put it on to 70 centimeter and could not. And then didn't know about unlocking radios. It's okay. You don't have to know everything to be in this hobby, even though everybody who you talk to in this hobby tells you that you must know everything to be in this hobby. I'm not one of those types. Have fun. Enjoy yourself. If you don't like it, return it. You might learn something else later. Who knows? Maybe you'll come across this video and you'll realize that I got your radio and this is what happened to you and this, that's why you returned it. And APRS, I can receive APRS signals on a dummy load here. That's pretty cool. Let's turn that radio off. Closing. All right, cool. This is another one of the Amazon repairs. This one is for sale. You can have this radio. Send me an email temporarilyoffline at gmail.com. I'll shoot you the list of what I have for sale now. Pick and choose what you want or none of it. Doesn't matter to me. Somebody will buy this. Somebody's bought all the other ones, which is fantastic. I want to keep these out of the landfill. I want to get these into the hands of some hams who are going to use them. I know you're going to ask, how do I get Amazon returns? Go to Google and search for it. Buy a whole pallet of them. Spend months going through the process of classifying, repairing, characterizing, ordering parts, doing whatever you can do in order to do it. Then find a way that you can actually sell these things and then count the pennies that you made off the other end of it. It's, it's not as easy as I make it look, but that's because I've been doing this for years now. And I don't even mean just the years I've been on YouTube. I've been doing this for like decades, years, and you just get better at it over time. If you're young, do it, start it. You'll learn a lot. You'll have a lot. You'll make some friends. You'll learn some things. You'll become a, a better person for it. I guarantee it. Or you'll just have a whole pile of toys that you bought that you don't know what to do with. But that's the way to do it. Just be nice, network, reach out to people, talk to people, have your ears open and volunteer and offer to help and doors will open for you. And that's the magic of life right there, my friend. So shoot me an email if you want this one. Check the links in the description if you want to get a new one instead. Not going to hurt my feelings either way. And there is a video right over here I think you will enjoy next. Thanks for being awesome. I'll see you over there.